Yay, I'm alive. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'll put my phone over here. First things first. Oh, the pattern pieces. So, I actually miss, um, and because you can't see my face, let me turn this down. So, I actually forgot to cut out one piece. So, at some point, uh, right now I'm just going to cut fabric, I guess talk. You're probably not going to be able to see my face because I'm going to be doing things. Uh, sorry for the rando mess. Wasn't really sure which angle I wanted to film in. And quite frankly, it's Saturday and I really don't feel like cleaning up stuff. Because I did that last night. Sort of. Anyway. Uh, I got chat on my phone. So if you want to talk to me, I will be looking at my phone. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I am sewing a formal dress for a wedding because all of my friends are getting married. I'm going to be a guest at the wedding. So it's not going to be a participation type thing. Well, I guess in a way I'm participating in the audience. So the fabric, I guess since I can't listen to music because YouTube won't let me be great and listen to my random music, that I guess I'll talk to you guys. Which is why I'm probably going to uh, cut the stream whenever I get ready to start sewing. And then actually go into the whole sewing part and whatever. Anyway. <laughs> like, I didn't truly really expect for this pattern to have so many pieces. But, you know what? It's all a learning process. And for the record, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So... Are you making my maxi skirt? I am not. I'm making I'm making myself a dress. Um, so the thing with the maxi skirt is I'm still trying to uh, sort out things for myself. And once I sort out things for myself, then I can do things for others. So this is actually six yards of, I guess, uh, Satin, not real satin, but like the two dollars, well, like four dollars a yard satin. It's like the cheap shit. This is like the you want to look shiny, but you don't have the budget to look shiny. So we're gonna make you pseudo shiny. That is not IT stuff. You know what? I am not all computers. I actually do things away from computers. I try to do things away from computers because I'll be honest, computers stress me the hell out. It's not so much as the computers, but the people. Uh, so I can't cut the skirt out just yet. So I guess I got to cut out the little smaller pieces. So let's see. All right. I really hope I marked all of these because this would be terrible if I didn't. All right. So <laughs> cut, unfold. Okay, okay. You know, I really should have probably went through the went through the instructions a little bit better. But you know what? Oh fuck. Time. Okay, Google, turn off all timers. Sure. I'm stopping any alarms and timers that are ringing on your smart home devices. <sighs> okay, awesome. All right. So the weird thing about this pattern is that not all pieces can be cut up. Motherfucker, you're still going. One second. This is why I like music because you don't have to hear me first. Okay, Google, stop on. Apparently, my rice decided that it wanted to be done right now. It's like, I'm not ready for you, rice. I'm not ready for you at all. All right, am I still upright? Wonderful. I didn't destroy the camera and it's set up. 
Cool. So, no, I'm never the boss of Google, unfortunately. I try my best to be. So, for the record, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. So you're going to learn with me. All right. Cut two. Wonderful. Cut two. Cut one. Unfold. All right. So, I mean, I'm pretty much wing it, winging it at this point, and I'm pretty sure that my rice cooker just yelled at me. It's fine. Uh, so the weird thing with all these pieces is kind of like making a ridiculous puzzle. And cut. I swear I don't understand my handwriting. But it's, it is what it is. Uh, cut two. Cool. Cut two on the green line. I swear. These patterns are so picky. It's like, no, face me this way. No, face me this way. You know? It's like, maybe I don't want to face you this way or that way. Maybe I want to face you in the direction that I think it's deemed worthy. And unfortunately, I'm only going to have one or two pieces here and there. I'm pretty sure some of these have to be like upside down. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I got six yards of fabric and I'm a woman that does what I want. So with that being said, it is time for Timmy. So this is actually the first pattern that I've done in a really, really, really long time. And I mean a really ridiculous long time. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is basically trying to give myself enough room to mess up because I will mess up. It's kind of my thing, which is fine. Because quite frankly, if you don't make mistakes in life, how are you ever going to learn anything, right? Um, do I want to do any IT videos in the future? Maybe, but as it relates to sewing, not so much for actual IT stuff. And cool. Uh, we're paralleled here. So at some point, I'm going to have a super fancy setup that's going to allow me to actually do like multiple camera switches. And honestly, I really just need somebody to like actually be my assistant with this thing because doing this stuff like by myself, it's really annoying. But I'm not going to bother my friends with, oh, hey, you should record me for YouTube stuff because that sounds completely adult like. I mean, I guess in a way it kind of is if that's something that you're trying to accomplish. But whatever. And I'm good at talking to myself. So. If I'm not really responding to anybody, it's because I am engaged in such a wonderful conversation that, uh, can we, oh, wonderful, we see, we see things. I'm actually watching myself live on my laptop, but also watching myself on my phone, so that way I can kind of keep track of things, and also to make sure that I don't accidentally flash off, because nobody wants to see that, because it ain't that kind of channel, and to be quite frank with you, I don't need any type of copyright strikes or even seeing YouTube telling me that, hey, we don't want to see your bits. I mean, they're okay bits, but this isn't OnlyFans. So what can you really do about that? So the cool thing is I'm going to actually instruct. So this thing is the green line indicator saying, hey, Cut this on the grain. Now, whether or not I'm cutting it the right direction or not, that's yet to be seen. But you know what? I have enough fabric where I can screw up as many times as I need to. Or if I screw up too bad, then I can just go 20, 30 miles to the fabric store and just say, you know what? Give me six more yards. We're going to do this thing until it's right. I'm not really sure how successful I'm going to be with it. But you know what? It doesn't matter because the start of being successful is to be unsuccessful. And if you can't fail at something, then what's the point? Again, I talk a lot to myself, but it's fine. I mean, let's be honest, though. Sometimes when you talk to yourself, you have the best conversations. Now, answering yourself is an art form in itself because you have to answer yourself in such a way that what well, people won't think you're absolutely nuts. And with my channel, uh, I'm going to try my best to do a lot of that. And 
Oh, here we go. I got pins for days. Actually, not really. I actually have some pins that are hidden somewhere in some project in a, in a bin somewhere. And I'm kind of terrified to go because I know I'm going to accidentally find it. And it's not going to be a very good thing. So this is to the back. And this is supposed to be parallel. So since it doesn't have to be on the fold, you're going to go there. I, I'm supposed to cut four of those? Interesting. Two, two, cut one, cut one. Okay, I guess you're going to go on the sidelines, no problem. Uh, I'm supposed to cut, cut two. Okay, I can do two of these. Two. Two is the magic number. You know, I really wish I could remember that one random schoolhouse rock song because it's, well, I mean, it's sort of playing in my head, but I don't think it's the correct one. And I don't want to embarrass myself by expressing to y'all how bad my memory is, you know. Um, not, well, that's close enough, whatever. Again, there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. And I hope that I have the happiest of accidents because that's where this just, some of this is just feeling all kind of off, but it's okay. Um, cool. So, one, two, three. Three pins. Ha, ha, ha. God, I really wouldn't listen to some music. Like, I would even sing to y'all, but nobody really wants to hear that because there is not enough alcohol involved. And quite frankly, I would not want to subject anybody to that anyway right now. Really? I got to cut four of these suckers? So I have one, two, three, four, five. Is that six or not? It's something. Oh, six. I missed seven. I forgot to cut seven, which is great because cut two. Yee, cut two. Two, two, two. You know what? I'm the boss of me. I will cut two at a time instead of four at the same time. Because the problem is, is that the skirt piece is going to be so big where it actually requires me to fold four times in order for me to properly cut it. Which, if you have no knowledge about sewing stuff, four times is basically a circle skirt. And it's like... You want to be able to twirl and have it look pretty and nice and all that other stuff. Unfortunately, the green line is actually specified. So, um, yeah, I know. I talk too much. Whatever. I mean, I guess in a way I'm supposed to talk a lot because there's no music. I swear. It's like, this is like borderline torture if you want, to, want me to be very honest. Because, like, I usually listen to some super upbeat stuff uh, while I'm sewing. Because I try to think happy thoughts, so that way I'm not like cursing and things of that nature. This wants me to cut four. Yeah, that's right. I said I was going to cut two at a time. You know what? I do what I want. Actually, not today. All right, so I fold out. Uh, cut one on fold. So the reason why I'm making this a little bit bigger is because I need to have proper seam allowance, and the problem is, is that without having proper seam allowance, it's going to be super, super tight. I'm not saying that I'm making this dress purposely small. I'm just trying to be mindful of the fact that I may not decide, I may decide to not wear my shapewear. And let's be honest. Let's see. No, no chats. That's fine. We are good. We are so good. I hope that this doesn't count against my watching because I'm really trying to keep up with live chat, but it's kind of hard to keep up with live chat because my site isn't that great to be looking across the room for information of what people are saying. And not to mention, I literally have nothing else to do today except for get drunk. So before I get actually... You know, that's not a terrible idea. I have a beer while I sew. 
So that way, when I start messing up, I can blame it on the beer instead of blaming it on myself. Because apparently, you know, I'm going to go grab myself anyway. I am still here. I am just walking to the other room. And there's only three Englings left. But you know what? These are some damn good beers. So, yay. I drink and I sell things. All right, so, pin, pin. I guess this is going to have to be good enough. So, the same instruction says five eighths. And by the way, please do not take this as proper instruction because it is not. I am not here to teach. I am here to show you how to skirt the system. And about skirting the system, I really just don't want to pay attention to what exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to give myself a, it says 5 8 inch seam allowance, but I'm only going to give myself a 1 inch seam allowance because I don't want to have, to, I, want to, I want room to mess up because the best thing about having room to mess up is that you can cut away fabric. You cannot add fabric. Well, okay, you can add fabric if you really, 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 truly wanted to. But the reality is, uh, let's see. Okay, live chat is still going. No problem. There really needs to be a way for creators to, oh, well, that's helpful. I was able to hide the video and just do live chat. Sweet. So that way I don't need a constant reminder of the fact that I need to hit the gym. <laughs> I've actually been doing pretty good about that. And yes, I'm talking about weight loss. Get over it. But the cool thing about fabric or making your own stuff is that I can take it in whenever I want. I don't have to worry about things not fitting because it's either I'm going to make a brand new one and say, screw you guys, or I am going to do the thing to where the thing I can have a bigger thing. And I just lost track of what the fuck. Oh, yeah, I cursed. I'm sorry. All right. So, oh, that's not going to work. Not for that type of. Because I can't give an inch here. So, back to the pinning board. See, happy mistakes. I pull this up. I can repin. Apparently, this is supposed to be something that goes on my waistline, which is fine. So, which means I need to make all make sure I have all the extra room because if I'm gonna go all the way to some rando city for a wedding, I'm gonna make sure that I don't that I I have you know I eat and quite frankly I also want to check out the local beer scene, so I am gonna need a little bit of extra room just in case of loading. I know all things that you want to hear about on Saturday talking about well on a sewing stream. The thing is, I try to be self-aware about things, because if I'm not self-aware about the things that I'm doing, then it just kind of makes no sense at that point. It's like, if you can't have self-awareness, then it, then what can you have, really? Self-awareness is free, and I like free shit. I also like cheap shit. That's why I got, like to go to the thrift store a lot. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get a full inch on this thing. Aha, uh -huh, that's what she said. Uh, but... I'm going to get super close. I mean, even though this fabric is cheap, I also don't want to have to drive across town to get more fabric. Even though Amazon kind of screwed up and they're sending me more fabric, I still don't want, you know, I want to make something new out of that fabric. I want to have something fun and exciting and not, hey, you screwed up. Redo. All right, so I'm using, uh oh, I should move that. I'm using the chalk because. I have a fabric marker. The problem with using a fabric marker is the fabric's already clean. And I'm not saying I don't want to wash it, but if I take it to get dry clean and they kind of miss this, then is my rice done already? Huh. Well, I guess it's just going to be heated for a bit. I'm actually making some sushi rice. So that way I can um, 
try to eat a little bit healthier. So I'm making a poke bowl, which since we're talking about sewing, oh crap, this isn't pin. <sighs> pin emergency. Yes, I just made it for work. Don't judge me. Or if you're going to judge me, at least talk to me about it. You know, that engagement is really helpful, especially with the whole channel thing. Like, I wanted to record this, but the problem with my, my recording this is I'm going to heavily edit it. And while I may have all these little random chin drops while I talk, if I record things, I'm going to probably not have those in the final version of it. And truthfully, sometimes I say things that's kind of cringy and there's no need to keep looking back on it. I'm just going to look forward. So that's why I'm recording this live. And I'll be quite frank with you. I don't, I can't see who's in chat because my phone has decided to go dark. Uh, not on purpose, but, oh, uh, yeah, what is? I would do this also on Facebook, but I'll be honest with you. Facebook is kind of, or, oh, Amazon's here. They're bringing my package that's a whole fucking week late. But it is what it is. Cool. All right. Back to my live chat. <laughs> it's like the fabric that I needed three days ago is just showing up on my doorstep after I've had to go to the fabric store and buy new fabric. So now not only do I have six yards of fabric sitting outside of my door. I also have six yards of fabric that I'm looking at right now and it hopes that I don't screw up so I don't have to do this twice because after all, there's no need to do something twice if you don't absolutely have to. And because I am such a adventurous person, this is actually the first time that I'm doing. So this is kind of like my mock-up and final version all at the same time because there's nothing like testing in production in my opinion. So, I guess that I guess in a way the IT side of me it is kind of coming out a little bit. It's like dev, who needs dev? Just put it live and see what happens. So I usually have a cutting board that's underneath um, what I'm cutting, but the problem is is that I do not want to deal with having to move that during the live stream because quite frankly it has a bunch of it, it's an old butcher block. Now, it's clean, but it has a bunch of like random scrap fabric in it. And to reduce the amount of random stuff that's on it, I decided that it's probably best for me to just leave it as is. Uh, nope, still no, no chats, which is fine because I am doing, I should be doing more doing than not less chatting. Where do I put my beer? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Plug. Yingling. It's really good for cheap shit. I should probably. Uh, nah. I'll find out how much yingling we'll have when he gets here. Whatever. All right, so cut you on the fabric, cut you on the. I think that's pearl. That looks correct. So I'm going to be Chatty McChatterson and continue to chat with y'all. Even though, according to my laptop, I don't have any new chats, but it's fine because I can't listen to my music because God forbid that I have music playing. YouTube is going to be like, no, you can't have that on your channel. Demonetized. Jokes on them. I'm not even monetized yet. But I also don't want them to be like Facebook and find something like 10 years later and be like, haha, we're taking your access. Well, not really your access. But quite frankly, I'm a good, I'm, I try to be good about following the rules most of the time. I generally don't. And by the way, I may have to take a break soon because I'll level with you. My back ain't in all that great a shape. And truthfully, I'm a lot older than a lot of people probably think. So I don't, well, not a lot, a lot. I mean, I guess if you're on my Facebook friends list, you don't, you know how exactly how old I am. But why am I trying to do this correctly? 
Oh yeah, that's right. That and I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to end up on some rando crafty blog at some point in my uh, my thing where people are like, oh my goodness, look at what she's doing. It is all wrong. Here, let me show you why it's all wrong. And you know what I'm going to say to that? It is absolutely wrong and I am perfectly fine with that. Because you got to suck at something to become good at something, right? And quite frankly, I am, I'm just not that worried about impressing people. I tell people all the time, even though I've been doing this stuff forever, I'm pretty awful at it. Okay, not awful, but like I break a lot of standard rules. Like, and I feel bad about it sometimes. The chat won't come up for me. Lame. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to fix something real quick. Live chat, top chat. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm fixing things. I'm fixing all the things. That was really, really loud. Okay, I'm just kind of fixing the live chat real quick. Hang on. Uh, it should be able to lock it, but somehow, some way, it is not, which is fine. Uh, I am still here. Fortunately, you cannot see the over of my thing because, quite frankly, it is not that great. Or uh, details, customer. Anyone? Oh, it's set to anyone. I'm not really sure why it's not working. That's unfortunate. I mean, I would restart it, but I'll be honest with you. I have a feeling that it's working now, and if I restart it, it's probably not going to work later because YouTube likes to do that to me. All right, let's see. Live chat, top chat, live chat, all chats visible. Hmm. I really shouldn't be drinking while I'm doing this, but it's fine. Don't drink and so. <laughs> For the record, even though I'm actually measuring this stuff out, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like off-road on it a lot. So that's kind of what I do. Like I set things up to do it properly, and then I just completely throw that out the window because rules are made to be broken. And I have an extra pin that belongs somewhere, and I'm not really sure where it belongs, and now I'm concerned. That's fine. You know what? I'm not even going to... Here, let me do this one real quick. Because I'm ready to start cutting things. I'm a mad woman that wants to play with some scissors. Ooh, and my rice is done. Now it's actually done. Okay. Now I cut. These are like some of the best. This is like the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Like super heavy duty scissors. <sighs> Where do I cut? I cut at the beginning. And we're finally cutting. I'm going to screw this up so bad, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that's where the extra pen came from. Whoops. At least now I know. I probably should have like been a little bit more detailed about where I'm cutting. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because I have like one inch to like play around with. And with being able to play around with that one inch, I'm pretty sure there's probably a dirty joke in there somewhere. Um, I have a lot more room to mess up, but like I said, it's like, I, I, right now I have, actually come to think of it, that wouldn't be my fabric because it was sent by USPS. That was Amazon that just dropped it off. So I don't know what the hell they just dropped off. I guess I'm gonna find out in a little bit. All right. So 
The best part about this is that this is supposed to be an eight hour sewing thing. And I'm not really sure if it's going to be in the actual eight hours or if that's just an estimate or is that if I'm like doing everything properly. So now I have my first official cut piece from this thing and I'm pretty sure that I probably screwed that up. Uh, I'm wondering if those are supposed to be the other direction, but you know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. And it goes into the pile. So just checking to make sure people can find things or whatever. Okay. We are good, most likely. And I apologize now if I actually do manage to get drunk off of this thing. I'm not really intending to drink just to get drunk, but quite frankly, I'm just really tired of drinking water all the damn time. And unlike most beers, Yingling does not qualify as water. Now, if you would like, I can give you a list of beers that are considered water or even pine flavored water. Looking at you, all the IPAs. Yeah, I just talk shit about IPAs. I don't even care. Um, huh, was I supposed to cut that far? Well, I guess we're going to find out. So, so far, two pieces. Eins, zwei. So, I'm not exactly cutting these out in the order in which they're labeled. Because, again, I break all the rules. Rules exist purely to be broken. I will argue with anybody on that. Huh. Well, you know what? My failure to plan, I'm just going to roll with it. Oh, you didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Also, probably it's not nice to probably clean my house. A little bit more because I just stepped on some... Rando art supplies. Like I was working on a painting for a friend and I just lit on the canvas. I say that's a win because I did not fall and embarrass myself because at that point the stream would have ended and I would have deleted every evidence of it. And nobody would have been able to convince me that it actually happened, even though I was there. So I'm sure that. Somebody somewhere is probably cringing at what I'm doing, but that's completely fine because if you can't be awkward, then what can you be? I'm just hoping that the fabric that's on the bottom side is actually even. Um, I sort of checked, but I didn't really confirm. So we're just going to wing it and see what happens. Uh, and for the record, I do not consider myself a professional seamstress. I am just a person who likes to make things. And yeah, I'm making some pretty good progress, I think. I forgot how much this fabric type shed. So this is the same fabric that I did, did with my formal dress for a couple years ago. And the only thing that sucked about it, again, was just the whole shedding aspect of the fabric. Like, to the point where I'm like literally like sweeping up random pieces. But of course, you know, when you're dealing with cheaper material, that's kind of a thing. And it's fine. You know, you kind of get what you pay for. And my wallet says you go cheap as you can. That, and I really just didn't feel like being bothered with trying to go actually find the perfect dress because I'll level with you being my height. It is really hard, like super, super hard. Like I'll see a nice dress and it'd be great. And I'm get it. And it's like a long t-shirt, like it'll stop like right here. And I'm like, you know, 
one, I'm not about that life. Two, I don't have a butt. So it's not like exactly like I can actually, you know. Uh, pull it off. Even if I could pull it off, but I really want to put it up, pull it off. That that's of concern. And so I guess I have to walk around the table now and in hopes that I don't bust my ass on tape on camera. Cause that would be awful. Like extra awful. Because you know, once it's on the internet, it's forever. And then at that point, you relive yourself as a GIF, as a meme, as a cautionary tale. You know what? I'm going to just put that in a pile over there. I guess my scissors won't let me go, so there is that too. All right, let's go with live chat. Because if you're talking to me, I can't see you. Well, I can sort of see you. Here's where things are going to get interesting. I have a two that are marked. I have one that doesn't. that's not marked. Now, in my not-so-professional opinion, I don't think I should have to mark it. But I also know, too, that this is a live stream, and I'm going to be judged by how I do these things. So maybe... How about this? I'm going to cut this first. Because I only have to cut one of these. Now, one of something is better than two of something. Because at least if I screw up on the one, I can know. And the second one is already cut out. So that way it's like a win win for everybody. The one thing about these like commercial patterns, though, is the fact that. They don't really leave a whole lot of room for deviation. And I understand that because not a lot of people can truly like making patterns and sewing patterns to distinct skill sets. And while I'm trying my best to be able to pull both off, I do understand that some people just don't have a net for being able to visualize things. And that's perfectly fine. I mean, there is nothing wrong with it. My problem is I know how to visualize things. I'm just too lazy to go through all the technical stuff to pull it off. Because, and I mean, I'll get there at some point. Just right now, it's just not really something that I feel like doing. And I'm not a real big fan of doing things that I don't feel like doing. Like, I feel like I've earned it at this point in my life. Where if I don't want to do something, guess what? I don't have to do it and nobody can make me. And so there. But... It looks like I got my bodice cut, so maybe that's a whole lot of whatever. Fine. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Well, I guess I can stuff my scraps in a pillow. So, success is so far. I'm almost done with the cutting of the annoying little pieces, minus seven, because... Apparently, I forgot about seven. Um, the cool thing is, uh, you know what? I'm going to just guess what that's. Because I'm trying to get to a point where I can actually cut my fabric uh, for the skirt. Because really, that's the only part of con only thing of concern. Now, I did not check to see check the length at all. The length, while it looks fine, and because I don't have a butt, I probably have a lot of room for error. But the issue is, is that I'm not really sure. I guess I won't be so lazy to not cut this. Just in case I accidentally lose a pin or something. Now, granted, this is probably the seam allowance that I should be giving it. But... What is? Oh. I'm really trying my best not to half-ass this stuff, but unfortunately, it's just a lot of rando cutting. And the seam allowance is basically going to help me hide my mistakes. Hide your crimes, as uh, I think it's Adam Savage says. So that's generally done. And now we're cutting. So 
I have all pieces except for the skirt and the one random seven that I am forgetting. So please don't cut the actual bodice because that would be bad. But again, this is why I like to buy a lot of extra fabric because if you can't really wing it, there's no point. I mean, I try. So here's my thing. I like I like to not follow the rules on things, especially when it comes to cooking. And I know sewing is not cooking, but I like to think that creatively they're about similar. And I can achieve similar results if I just kind of do my own thing. And I probably should have pulled out my rotary cutter for this, but I really like cutting with these scissors. Like the rotary cutter is fine. The only issue that I have with the rotary cutter is it forces me to not pay as close attention as I really I normally would. And so I just kind of like just roll it and just hope for the best. But most of the time it's not the best. Jeez, I talk a lot. Okay. Cool. And I'm hoping that because I'm on a wired connection, that things are actually working a little bit better. Now, one thing that sucks about having to do the uh, sewing part of it is that I have to go in and actually clean up my craft room. Uh, so that way I'm not completely embarrassed by showing y'all when I sew. But like I said before, I need to chill on the back thing because the back thing is really bothering me right now. I actually have a big ass lidocaine patch on right now, and I am not a, I am not ashamed to talk about that. I mean, physical care is self care, right? I think. Look at all this pretty scrap fabric. Scrap fabric, and there is motion. Motion at my carport. Cool. That looks like that looks like my car. My car is back at the house. Yay! All right. So I got one or two pieces left, and then I am good. I probably shouldn't have had this beer. It is what it is. Uh, All right, so I'm officially done cutting these pieces. So, hooray. Um, I am at a sort of stopping point right now. Um, thank y'all for hanging out. I'm probably going to pick, the, well, so here's the thing. I need to figure out the skirt thing because, you know, testing and production and all of other stuff. So what I think I'm going to do is test out the skirt, cut it, and I'm going to reconvene live with another live stream. So this is technically part one with me actually sewing the things um, because I have a lot of interfacing to cut to. And quite frankly, interfacing is like just a big ball of light ridiculous so i will be live probably in a little bit i might be a little more inebriated because i need to go run to the liquor store too so i'll be back and not be telling oh fuck me